Hey everybody, you know me, it's Paul with Washington Pro Carpet Cleaning. And today I'm doing a video on how to do your small business accounting or record keeping, bookkeeping. Uh, I run a carpet cleaning company and this works for all service companies, all businesses pretty much, but a lot of small service companies, lawn maintenance, power washers, etc. So anyway, and uh, if you happen to catch this video the first time, the there was a problem with the speaker so i'm doing a voiceover on it so bear with me but anyway i'm sitting at my desk today and i'll be showing you the way that i do this it's a really simple system and you want to you'll end up having um, 12 manila large envelopes and they refer to this accounting uh, system as the envelope system. So if you use this system and you don't know how to do your taxes, you could just drop 12 envelopes off uh, with your tax preparer or your bookkeeper and they're going to love you because you'll have everything organized and in one place and already tallied and totaled up. So without further ado, let me get the envelope that you'll be uh, using you can get these envelopes at uh, Walmart Staples you can order them on Amazon you don't have to get them as big as mine I just write pretty big on mine so that's why I use the larger envelope okay you can see it's got the clasp on it you'll want that you don't want any uh, lines or bars on the outside of it just a regular envelope okay again I'm doing a voiceover because the audio did not work on the original video so bear with me <laughs> I'm watching the video and trying to remember what I was saying okay so anyway this is um, all my work orders well a few of them anyway and I staple them as I go. Um, you can see I'll put the totals in there. Let me turn this light off. Put the totals in there. And again, you can see each job. Another job, totals. Make sure it's signed by your customer, signed by you. In here, living room, dining room, three bedrooms, and I always just put package price, bring it straight down. But you can see in a previous video, I show you how to make your own work orders. And uh, I just use a carbon copy. I give the customer the, car the, the copy, and I take one home with me, and I put all my uh, monthly work orders together. This is a printable calculator with tape it's battery operated you can get one on walmart they're cheap you just want to make sure you turn it off when you're not using it so you just want to tally up all of your work orders and that little tape there was my some of my expenses but you you get the idea you tally it all up take your envelope and you'll put your company name the year the month and then PL stands for profit and loss. This is basically your profit and loss statement, even though it's an envelope. So you will end up having 12 of these. And I just have a file cabinet as I go. You know, I close out the month, probably about oh, the 10th or 12th of the following month, I'll pull everything together, fill out my envelope. And then on this side, what you'll be doing let me adjust this camera is you'll be putting all your totals there's two things in business your revenue and your expenses so the only revenue i've t i take in is through my work orders and you put your total down of you know how much you made then you're going to go through your expenses and that's where i had all my receipts stapled together keep receipts Put it down, fuel, chemical cost, equipment. That might be higher or lower depending on what you needed. 
maintenance that was an oil change advertising i use a little bit of google ads and i think some facebook maybe there and my general liability insurance for protection if anything gets damaged in a home $48 a month through Hiscox. Cell phone rents me 100 And office supplies looks like I only spent 12 bucks. That could go up or down. Postage was zero. Tolls, uh, $28 in Seattle. Or I live in Washington, but to get across to Seattle, I take a ferry. I don't work in Seattle, but um, sometimes I go over there and I'll buy um, equipment for maintenance or... Uh, new jets for my wand, whatever. License and fees, you know, that could be um, business license. You can put in there, your, you can put underneath that web web costs. You can add whatever expenses you have for your business. Might not look exactly like mine. But then you're going to total all your expenses. And you, there you put the double line and put it underneath. I put minus with parentheses. That means that's a loss. Up above the revenue says plus, that's a plus. You could have some negatives. If you got return checks, you would put that up in the revenues or you could put in expenses. But what you're looking for is your net profit or loss. You deduct your expenses from your revenue and it will tell you how much money you made. That's your net, in this case, profit. Now, in a new business, it could end up lower. So, if your revenues were 1500 and your expenses were 1800 you lost $300. So just keep track of everything and get your grand total. And the, um, the, the net is what you're going to pay self-employment taxes on. And self-employment taxes, I guess all the way in the United States, is 15.3%. So out of your net profit, the self-employment tax you have to pay. You pay it quarterly every three months. You can get a voucher online from irs.gov and send that in or you can save it. I usually put, I have a separate business account and a business savings account and I'll take the 15.3% of that and drop it into the savings account so that quarterly I can pay it. So, and what that is, is it's your Social Security, your FICA tax, your Medicare. If you don't um, pay that, then when you turn 62 or you get older, you're not going to have anything available for Medicare or for Social Security, and you'll end up on some kind of a state-funded program, <clears throat> which is not going to be a good quality of life for you so or your family, so... Make sure you're paying that, and the you know the first couple of years you're in business, you might not know what you're doing. So I know I didn't, and so the third year I started really making money, and I started figuring out what I had to do, and made sure I paid everything back that I owed, and um, went from there. But you can see this system is really really simple, and you're gonna end up like I said with twelve envelopes. You're gonna do one for each month. And you're just going to list your revenues, could go up, could go down, depending on the month. You know, and if me, if I have a big hotel or commercial job, then the money could go a lot higher in the revenue category because, you know, I'm making, I could be making $3,000 for a commercial job and that'll bring my net profit a lot higher. So each case will be different. And if you did have any questions, you know, feel free to put them in the comments. I'd be more than happy to uh, try to explain it to you. This is how I do it. And then I, like I said, I have a filing cabinet. I'll put all 12 envelopes for the year. And, you know, you want to keep, they say you have to keep three years records. Um, you know, the IRS in case you're audited. I've always kept about seven years. And then the rest of it I just store away or get rid of. But just always remember you're going to owe, you know, what money you make on that net. You make $100 and it costs you $5 in chemicals and $10 in gas. You don't get to keep the difference. 
you're going to owe the government 15.3% of that. And that's just the self-employment tax. That's not your regular, regular federal tax. You know, that's a whole separate thing. But you have, you know, write-offs, standard deductions for family and kids and things like that. So, but owning your own business is fantastic because you do have the ability to write off a lot of stuff. And, you know, in, in the beginning, I used to write stuff off and just work to try to show a loss or show maybe a couple hundred dollars so I didn't have to pay taxes. And then you realize that, you know, if you keep doing that, then I think the IRS is going to get a red flag and say, you know, why is this guy still in business? He's only making, you know, or he's losing money every year, and then they're going to want to see what's going on. But there are some loopholes um, that you can use. And, you know, if you're going to show a big profit and you're going to owe a lot of taxes at the end of the year because you didn't pay your self-employment taxes, then, you know, you can go buy a large item, you know, buy some new equipment, and that that'll end up in the expense category and it will lower the amount of money that you made for the year. So just like this monthly, your yearly will be all your revenues. You just take these 12 envelopes, transfer the totals. And it's pretty simple to do. I'm gonna be doing a value added video on how to do your taxes here in the future. Um, for small businesses, I'll show you how, how I do it and how easy this system uh, works as far as transferring over when it's time to do taxes. So <clears throat> I hope this helped. And like I said, I, you know, I did the video the first time and something wrong with my, I have an iPhone 8S. And when I do the words live or I'm talking, it picks up, if something goes off in the background, it cuts my voice out and tries to find what's going on in the background and that and on the last video I, I think there was only six viewers before I took it down um, it, it was this video and it was actually recorded live so that's why it looks kind of awkward with sometimes when I'm showing things but and here I was just explaining I keep all the checks that I mobily deposit I staple them to my work orders all my receipts for gas equipment uh, if I buy something on Amazon, I print the receipt out. Or if I buy something from like the end cap store, um, you know, I'll keep print the receipt, keep it all together. Um, you know, vehicle insurance or liability insurance, print the receipt. And then all your work orders, you have everything put together nice and neat. And then what you want to do is just <clears throat> keep it all together and you want to put this into the envelope and you'll see here once I get everything it tucked into the envelope I've got all my records for February now and I'll staple sometimes the uh, sheets that I use the little uh, calculator printer sheets I'll keep those together that way if any but he wonders where I came up with my figures or if I made a mistake, you could see it there. But there's a little clasp on on the front of the back of the envelope. You see right there. And what you do is you just put the top of the envelope over, insert it through there. And there you go. It keeps everything nice and orderly inside. So you've got everything ready to go. You do this every month. It'll be your business name, you know, the date, your P&L, all your expenses and stuff. And I've used this system even when I was a bigger company um, back in the, gosh, mid-90s. And, you know, you might have, um, you know, $100,000 for a month, but your expenses go up just every week. Your revenue goes up, your expenses go up on paying labor. Uh, a lot more gas, trucks, fuel, you name it, more advertising. And by the time you get to the bottom of the month, um, you could end up with the same amount that I have here with five times more headaches and a lot more work. And I'm not knocking that. I've done it and I loved it. You put people to work, you have higher revenues, um, you know, and sometimes they're pretty smart and they have higher profits, which is good too. 
But with the uh, bigger business, you're going to have bigger expenses. And me, like I said, I work from home or out of my home. I have a, a workshop and a, a three-car garage detached that I can utilize for uh, vans. I only have just me now, the one van. So pretty simple process. And this will work for, like I said, pressure washing, landscapers, um, you know, whatever it is you do, you're going to have your revenue coming from somewhere and you should keep track of that and then your expenses. So this is a simple way to do it. I know there's other ways. This is just my way. You know, I, I know some people are going to chime in and tell me, a better way or oh there's a digital system you know a house call pro i don't know what that does if it if it adds everything up for you or if it's probably does but get you envelopes get you a cheap calculator tape calculator battery operated walmart i think it was maybe 19.99 20 bucks for the calculator make sure you turn it off so you don't kill your battery when you're not using it and you'll be good to go. Nice, simple, clean process. So let me know what you guys think and gals. Easy. Don't forget to pay yourself employment tax. Don't cut yourself short. You can look up the information on that. Uh, just go to the irs.gov and look up um, SE tax or self-employment tax. I think it's 15.3% across the board in the United States. And uh, some some states, like I'm in the state of Washington, we have what's called business and operational tax. And that's an additional tax that's not on here. It's paid quarterly as well. It's a much smaller amount, but it's businesses in Washington have to pay it. I don't think you probably will have that. Some states might, but you can look into that. And I'll say it again in case you missed it. I, when I recorded this, uh, the audio got all goofed up. So the voice doesn't match my hand movements there. <laughs> so... I must apologize for that, but I thought, you know, I spent all the time making the video. It's, I think it'll be a good value-added video for small business people. And I can't remember just looking while I'm doing the voiceover what it was I was saying at some points. But I do know that I got the important stuff that you need to know uh, in this video with the voiceover. So, again, I'll, I'll, I'll leave you with that. And just say uh, you want to keep your accounting, your bookkeeping. Look back through my uh, videos and find the how to make your own work order or invoice. Really simple. I explain how I do that. And it's good to have work orders. Number one, you have an actual receipt if the IRS wants to see you know, where you're working and how much you're making. And then when you get your fuel and everything, make sure I keep a small, cheap $6 clipboard I got from Walmart. I keep work orders in there. I keep my carbon paper in there. And then when I fill up with gas or buy something, I'll throw the receipt in the clipboard. At the end of the night, I'll bring my uh, work orders from the day, two or three work orders, and then my receipts, and I'll put them in my basket that you can see back there on the left or across by the map there. And I just let those accumulate until I'm ready to calculate them out and do my monthly profit and loss envelope. So, easy. And I'm probably telling you there that you want this is your grand total. You want to put the double lines. You use the parentheses to show a loss and the minus sign. You could see the revenue was a plus. That could be a minus sometimes, to, depending if you if you're starting out and you made three hundred dollars and the ch you know and the check bounced, it's going to cost you a fee. So really simple, and we're winding down to the end of the video. So again, I apologize for the having to do the voiceover, but 
uh, with the way it was, it was so choppy and so irritating that I just couldn't do it. I have to get a, I guess, a mic from my iPhone. I don't, or maybe if you guys know a setting that would cause the phone when there's background noise to drop my voice and pick that up, let me know. Otherwise, please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and look for my next episode soon.